Welcome back. It's day two where we are going to dive in to the landing page structure. So what is very important with a short landing page? Well, it's important that it's simple and short and convince a person to take action. You need a really, really good headline because the headline can make you or break you. If the headline is not good enough, people will leave. That was what I was talking about with the attention span. So you really need to have a good headline. And then a subheadline. And a subheadline can make a little bit explaining about what is it really about. And then you need a picture, a product picture or a video. And a video is very strong, but we will get back to that later. But if you have an ebook, have a picture of the ebook. If you have something else, have a picture of what it is. Some people like to see what things are. And then you have the form explainer, where you can write something like fill this out and get the ebook right away. And of course, you want the name, you want an email because it's really important that you get the email. And some people pull in the phone number, that's okay, but you gotta know that when you put in a phone number, a lot of people will leave your landing page. So if it's really important for you to have a phone number, fill in the phone number, otherwise only the email and the name. And then you need a call to action. And why is that orange? Well. There is a lot of discussions around what color you need for a call to action button. But if you know a little company called um, Amazon, I'm sure they have tested and tested and tested that again and again. And all their buttons, if you want to buy, are orange. So I always choose orange because, well, Amazon does it. It must be good enough for me. So have a call to action button. And then a short, short text about what is it that you have inside of this program, this ebook, or whatever you are selling. You need three to six bullet points. So this is how it looks. It's the right structure. It's not a law that you have to make it this, this way, but it's a really good um, well place to, to start when you make a landing page. And take a picture of this with your phone or take a screenshot so you have this when you start making your landing page. And let's talk about the headline because it is so important on your landing page. You should use a lot of time writing your headlines and your um, homework today will be about headlines. So, so I really think that this is important for everybody that is um, trying to sell something. So what problem do you solve for your customer client needs to be in the headline and how would you like to be perceived by your customer and client and i have a bonus for you if you have if you're struggling with writing headlines inside my vip member site where you will get full access you will find the 10 best headline templates that I have used and you can combine them and you can really get some great headlines. So go in and grab that template when you log into your membership site. So let's take some examples on some short form landing pages. Here you have one that is a bit special because there is not anything that grabs an email, there is not anything that grabs a name. but if you press the free consultation, I'm sure that you will be led to a page where you put in your email and your name, of course. So that is a, a, another example on a short form landing page. And this is, well, it's in the same segment. It's the same customer type they want to address. But what I love about this is that you see the before and after picture. And that can really move people when you give them a good picture on your landing page. And then you get seven free recipes. So what's not to like about this landing page? You know what you get. Let's take some more examples. Here you have a uh, landing page about money problems. And you see this really happy girl with some money in your hand. And 
who would want to be her, right? She has the money in her hand. And underneath the form, you see that they have some bullet points that, well, they have some humor in it because there are 6,000 cups of coffee. So if you use some humor in your landing page, that's good too. And here you have another one about money. And you see this guy with a laptop, with a business shirt, of course. And underneath you see four to six percent solid returns and 97 positive returns and monthly cash flow two to five percent so they they have the bullet points under the form and all you need to do is fill in your email and your password and that's um, how you get started on this landing page and here you have the lift well this is not an ordinary landing page because what I think is really, really clever about this landing page is that you can put in how many hours you want to drive and what city you're in and then you can actually calculate how much you can earn. And that is really, really great because if you see that you can earn, let's say $1,000 a month and you will say, well, I want to become a Lyft driver. That is really cool. So I really love this. And of course, if we have Lyft, we, we need to have Uber. And I have seen, not in this landing page, but I've seen other places that Uber have the same calculation. And that is really smart if you want people to get attracted to you, get them something that they know where they, they are going to get results. And here we have someone where you can get medicine training. Of course, it's very, very simple. You see a guy, a very professional guy here, and all you need to enter is your name and your phone to buy a ticket. So that's a really, really simple um, landing page form. But of course, there needs to be some selling before this. If you just land on this landing page and you know nothing about it, there is no way that you're going to put in your phone number to buy a ticket. So they need to sell a lot before they guide people to this landing page. And here you have a free ebook, totally traditional landing page. The only thing that really amazes me is that they don't have a picture of the ebook. I would really say that if they wanted some more traction on this, I would say put in a picture of an ebook, but it's their landing page and it's only an example. And here you have a simple landing page from my system where I have um, a web builder system where I give 14 day free trial. And it's really simple. It's only, um, um, it's only some text and a picture. And what I have put in, and we're going to talk about later, is I have put in a timer. When this timer runs out after an hour, you will not get the things I offer you. It's gone. So you can really pressure people to take a decision. And I have one more here. It's really, really simple. All you get here is a free ebook and you can see the ebook and all you got to do is put in your name and your email to get the ebook. So as you can see, there are many, many different examples and there are no rules. You can do whatever you want. You need to test out what works. But if you have the right structure, if you use some of the structure I've just shown you, you can never go wrong. So. This was day two where you really learned about the, the landing page structure. And what I want you to do now is write some headlines. What is your landing page going to be about? Write some headlines. And if you need, um, well, inspiration, you can go in and grab the free template on my back office in the, in the membership area. So write some headlines and post the best headline in the Facebook group. I'm really looking forward to see you tomorrow where we are going to talk about the long form landing page. Hi.